Hey everybody, I'm Pastor Dion Jefferson of Liberty City Church here in the great city of McDonough, and I'm excited to share with you the great things that God has been doing in our midst. You know, being here, we have seen 994 people get saved last year. Being here, we've seen some great things. We've seen miracles, signs, and wonders happen, but you know, we can't stop there. God has mandated us to fulfill a need. So what we did was we partnered with another organization to fulfill a need by giving food away every single week. You know why? Because we wanted to fulfill a need. We had box fans that we gave away to a complex when their AC went out because we wanted to fulfill a need. Not only did we do that, we was able to come every single week, every Tuesday and Thursday, to give clothes and shoes away to the community because it was our desire to bring them to a place when they was naked, we clothed them what the Bible says because we wanted to fulfill a need. We gave away shoes for back to school because we wanted to fulfill a need. You know, children don't get picked on because of book bags and, and notebooks. They get picked on because of hair, hygiene, and shoes. We wanted to fulfill a need. It didn't stop. We went to the high school and the middle school to feed the staff and the students. Matter of fact, we had the privilege to share with them the gospel of Jesus Christ with students and even teachers got saved. You know why? Because we wanted to fulfill a need. You know, coming out of that, we have what we call the bando. It's a place where the children can come and feel accepted, feel loved, and be empowered to go out and be great in their lives. Because we want to provide a safe place to fulfill a need. Not only did we stop there, we had the drive through baby shower. Yes, yeah, clever, right? The drive through baby shower when people can just pull up, receive diapers, wipes, etc. We wanted to fulfill a need. And we did all of that because you got involved. You helped us. You partnered with us. And so now we're standing here with a great opportunity to possess the land. Yeah, you know the Bible says where your feet shall tread, you shall have it. And so we're standing at 349 Macon Street, believing God that people are going to partner with us to possess the land. You know, the Bible says what good things you may happen for another, the same shall you receive of the Lord. I'm believing while I'm talking to you now, God is talking to you about partnering with us. You know why? So we can fulfill a need. The community need a place of refuge. The place, they need a place where they can come and feel accepted. And we have a building right here in the middle of the square so they can fulfill the need. All of us. I'm believing that God is going to talk to you about the thousand. He's going to talk to you about 500. He's going to talk to you concerning 240. Whatever you have, I believe God is talking to you about sowing here so that all of us as a collective body can fulfill a need. I'm excited what you are going to give, what you're going to do in the next few days, in the next few moments to help us fulfill a need. Thank you for helping us to feel that.
Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord. I'm excited about what God is going to do. Hallelujah. So if I can get everybody to real quickly like, like, share, and tag. Like, share, and tag. Like, share, and tag. Like, share, and tag. Everybody like, share, and tag. Everybody like, share, and tag. Everybody like, share, and tag. Let's go, to, let's go together tonight. <clears throat> like, share, and tag. Find somebody. Tell them we're on tonight. If you are a part of Liberty City, tell somebody we're on tonight. <clears throat> share it with somebody. <clears throat> Pull out that phone. And share it tonight. Like, share, and tag everybody. Like, share, and tag. I don't see nobody like, share, and tag. Come on, everybody. Wake up. Let's. Nathangela, thank you for sharing. Thank you for sharing. Anybody else? Anybody else? Everybody, everybody, let's go, let's go, let's go. Liberty City, are we on tonight? Liberty City, Liberty City, are y'all with me tonight? If you're with me, wave at me, wave at me, wave at me, wave at me, <laughs> wave at me online, wave at me. I'm going to get it where I can see you guys. <clears throat> Wave at me. Let me know you with me tonight. Wave at me. I want to be Dan, uh, how are we looking on the screen? You see me? Okay. All right. <clears throat> hey, hey, hey. How everybody doing? Glad you are coming on. Um, we're trying something different tonight. We're trying something different. I don't know. 
Let's try on the stage tonight. Let's see. Ugh. Dude, help me out. Help me out with the camera. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Actually, it's all right. Yeah, it's actually still all right. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah, it actually looked better. You can see me a whole lot better. All right? <clears throat> so let's go tonight. Let's go tonight. Hallelujah. Um, <clears throat> let me tell you this. Sometimes, sometimes God uh, I'll let your gift persuade people that they are still in need of him. Because sometimes people can feel like they're not, uh, that they don't really need God. Or they could be offended with God. Just on. I promise you, this is going to be a night that you enjoy. This will be a, this will be a night that will help you in your faith. I promise you, I promise you, I promise you. I promise you, I promise you, I promise you. <clears throat> Hallelujah. 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 All right. <clears throat> uh, <clears throat> for the guy, there was a guy by the name of Dan, Dan Don that came on and said, no, thank you, um, to a request. And um, immediately when he said that, God started talking to me about it. And uh, we could share, um, but he doesn't want it. <clears throat> All right, everybody, tonight, I want you to get your Bible. We are going to make a journey, take a journey, I would say, on something that um, God turned me from what I was going to teach tonight to what I'm going to teach. So um, I need everybody to turn your Bible to Philippians 1 and uh, 6, 1 and 6. Tonight, I promise you that this is a night worth sharing. I promise you tonight. I promise you tonight. Tonight is a night worth sharing. It is a night worth sharing. Good to see you, Dennis. <clears throat> Philippians 1 and 6. Philippians 1 and 6. Uh, for my note takers, this is going to bless you tonight. I promise you, it's going to bless you. Yep, 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 yep. Uh, um, it's actually one of them nights that I wish I had a keyboard player. We could go home and make, make something happen tonight. But um, out of everything, I want to make sure we teach the Word of God that you have clarity on what God is saying. Um, great to see uh, Pastor Dante Long on. Hey, my friend. Hey, my brother. Thank you for being on. Uh, great, great brother of mine. Thank you for being on tonight. All right. <clears throat> All right. Philippians. Philippians 1 and 6. It says this. I am convinced. And I am convinced. I am confident in this very thing. That he who have begun a good work in you will continue to perfect, complete it until the day of Jesus Christ, the time of his return. I am convinced. I am convinced. I need you to drop that in the comments. I am convinced. I am convinced and I have confidence. I am confident. I am convinced and I am confident. What I'm a probable code of Aharia, what I'm gonna preach about tonight is going to help every last one of us. We're in the midst of this building project, but some of you all are in a building project of yourself, of your life, of your family, of your faith, of your career, of your emotions, of your calling, of your of your of your. And tonight, I want you, by the time you leave this room, by the time you get offline, you will be convinced. Yeah, you're going to be convinced and you're going to be confident. Hallelujah. You're going to be convinced and you're going to be confident 
in the very thing that cause God has started something in you. And because he has started something in you, you have to have confidence and you have to be convinced that it's going to happen. You got to be convinced. You have to be converted. You have to be confident in the very thing. Whatever God said over your life, whatever God said to you, whatever a prophecy came, you got to understand that any day now, this thing is going to come to pass. This thing is going to come and uh, manifest in my life. This thing is going to come and sit with me. I'm going to have joy over sorrow. I'm about to have the best um, encounter of my life. And God is about to put me where I supposed to be. God is about to bring me from a place of suffering to a place of triumph. God is about to bring me to a complete turnaround and we're about to see it in a matter of moments and days. You're about to see God turn it around and shift it in your favor, but you have to come to a place of tonight. By the time I get off this live and by the time I leave this room, I will be convinced that God, whatever you said concerning me, it's going to come to pass. I just need you to scream. It will come to pass. It has to come to pass. I done prayed about it. I done shouted about it. I done wrote about it. I done spoke in tongue about it. I done talked about it. I done gave for it. So now I'm putting demand on God. God, it has to show up in the next 24 hours. Y'all playing tonight. I'm just trying to get you to get convinced that it have to show up in the next 24 hours. No, it can't be delayed anymore. I, I, Lord, I've been delaying. I've been waiting. I've been praying. But I'm going to help you tonight that you can be steadfast and unmovable in your faith because you're going to be convinced. God, in the midst of it, while it's going on, I'm still convinced that you can. Uh, I, I'm still convinced it's going left, but I'm still convinced that you will. Yes. Hallelujah. 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 I'm convinced. So I am convinced and I'm confident of this very thing. My question tonight, what is that very thing? What is that very thing? Um, if I if I had to preach tonight, I would preach faith on trial. And and if I had to have a, a subtopic with it, uh, y'all gonna like this one: irritated process. You are irritated in the process. You are so frustrated in the process. <laughs> you are confused. In the process, can I, can I help somebody tonight? Uh, I just, I just want to help a few people. That's all I want. If, if y'all will, I, I, I just want to help you tonight. I just want to help you, if you will. You're frustrated in the process. You're confused in the process. You are exhausted. In the process. But here, uh, here we go. In the midst of it, I'm still convinced. Come here, y'all. I'm still convinced in the midst of it. While everything looks the way that it looks, I am still convinced. I need some, I, I need y'all, I need y'all um, just to put your hand on your chair and say, Lord, no matter what I see. I'm still convinced. Ooh. I'm still convinced. I'm still convinced. Can't nothing stop me. Can't nothing talk me out of the will of God. It can't. No, no, no. I'm not going to allow it to talk me out of the will of God because I understand right now. I understand right now. I wrote this down because I don't want to forget it. In the midst of everything, my faith, hear me, you don't need faith. For the promise. You need faith. For the process. I need you. I need you. I need you to. For my note takers. I need you to write that down. I don't need faith. For the promise. The promise is sure. Because he that has begun a good work. Is going to complete it. So it is a guarantee. But in the midst of it. In the midst of. Prayer and promise, 
there is a process. And in the midst of prayer and process, um, God is saying, what I need you to do, you need to put your faith in the midst of the process because if you don't, you're going to get irritated. And you're going to get irritated to the place where you're going to say, God, where are you? God, I don't understand this. It feels like every time I take one step, something happens again. You, you, you'll feel, you'll feel, God, it seemed like every time I start going, it seems like I get knocked back down and then you'll start dreading the progress yeah yeah uh huh in the process you will dread the progress because you're saying God I'm just trying to wait and I'm just trying to see when something else is about to pop off and God say in the midst of it even if it pop off you gotta know that I'm with you I'm gonna be there with you I'm standing there with you I'm ten toes down with you I just need you to understand that I'm going to work it out even if you feel like, come here, if you don't feel like God is in the midst of it or God is fighting for you, what God is about to do for you tonight is step in your dilemma and in the middle of your dilemma is give you a miracle in the middle of your dilemma. I dare you to find somebody and scream at him, God is fixing your dilemma. I feel like preaching tonight. I feel like giving God the glory because what you've been trying to see, like God, I wanted to work this way. And you feel like being in the will of God is supposed to be peaches and it's supposed to be, cre be cream. But God has said, no, I'm trying to build you in the process. You know what? The Bible says this, even the Hebrew boys, when there was in the fire, the fiery furnace, um, they said this, even if he don't come, even I understand that he'll come in the midst of us. And I understand. So what God did, what God did, actually the son of God came and got in the fire with them. Can I tell you tonight, you may feel like you're alone, but he's about to get in there with you. He's about to show you his mighty right hand. He's about to show you that he's strong and mighty. He's about to show you. Here we go. He's about to show you that he's smarter than you. He's about to show you in the process, in the process, I'm actually saving you embarrassment. In the midst of the progress, I'm also saving you time. In the midst of the progress, I'm saving your heart. In the midst of the progress, uh, in the midst of the process, I'm helping you progress even if you feel like I'm in pain. It feel like, God, you're knocking the wind out of me. When you gonna get the devil and God saying, no, baby, it's not the devil, your family. Faith is on trial. Your faith, I need the evidence to come. And you got to understand, God, you're going to build my endurance. You're going to build my endurance so I'll be able to stand when the things start coming at me. I have a testimony. I have a testimony. God, you came in the fire with me. God, you laid, you allowed me to lay on a lion that's supposed to kill me. God, you allowed me to build an ark when everybody didn't understand what was What's going on? Hey, God is building you in the midst of process. 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 Everybody say process. Um, so um, for the next um, 24 hours, I need you to be convinced and I need you to have confidence because he's going to start it. He's already started it. But in the midst of starting it, why do you feel like you're slow? Why do you feel like you're stuck in mud? Why do you feel like you're stuck in concrete? I'm talking about your faith. I'm talking about your faith. Feel like I'm stuck in concrete. God, I want to go higher, but it feel like I'm stuck. But I came tonight to tell you, God is helping you in the midst of the process, even when you feel like you have no progress. Let me hurry up. Let me hurry up tonight. Uh, let me hurry up because uh, I, I feel good tonight. I feel really, really good. Now, I suppose I've been talking about going back to God, but he told me that he said, Dion, some of them, the reason that they're going through what they're going through and the reason that they feel the way that they feel is their faith is on trial. You have never gotten what you're about to get. <laughs> you have never held what you're about to hold. You will never, you will never put your key into the type of house that you're about to put your hand, your hallelujah, your key into. You have never, you have never 
sang on a stage that you're about to sing in front of. You have never preached on a stage that you're about to have. You have never done any business on the platform that you're about to have. So right now, the warfare is strong, but the warfare is not the devil. It's God. Because your faith is on trial. And I have an irritated process. So on this one, for some of you all, uh, don't blame. Thank you, Jesus. Uh, don't blame the devil on this. For some of them, now put your hand down. Uh, uh, for some of this, don't, 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 no, no. Don't blame it on the devil. Don't be saying, you know, devil, I rebuke you. No, just say, yes, Lord. Uh -huh. the, the, this is the part that you need to say, yes, Lord. Thank you for building me. Thank you for making me in the midst of this. You are building my faith. Endurance is coming right now. Endurance. Yes, that's what I'm talking about tonight. It being able to endure when God, it feels like God is not moving. Because what I've seen over the course of time, and I've talked about this a while back, I'm going to say it again. We blame everything on the devil, even when it gets hard. I don't know why the devil trying me. God said, no, your faith on trial. I'm about to lift you to a place that you have never seen before. I'm going to let you sit in, hallelujah, I'm going to let you sit in rooms that you have never sat before. I'm going to allow you to open your mouth and give strategy to people that don't even look like you. So what I need to do is see how you handle pressure without being under pressure. Come here. Um, come, come into a place and say, God, God is saying, look, can you handle the pressure in front of me? In front of me, in the place where it feels like you're looked over. God said, no, you're not looking over. What, I re what I'm really doing right now is putting pressure on you outside of the pressure that they're going to give you. Yeah, they're about to put pressure on your on your solution. Mm -hmm. They're about to put pressure on, on yeah. Um, you, you said I'm gonna make some bands this year. Yeah, we're gonna see. Um, and I want you to make them bands, but I'm gonna tell you this: there's some pressure coming because you're about to have progress, and you're gonna have be able to say, you know, God made me in this one. God, you you I understand that you probably helped me and you gave me some wisdom, but the door that just opened for me, only God can do it. I I'm celebrating because God opened the door. Mm. So, with me observing Liberty City, I have to say Liberty City, there's three areas that I've noticed about the people that we serve with. Healing process. Maturity process faith process Whew. some of you all it's not your body that is in trouble it's that mind in your heart and every time you feel like God is bringing you to the surface a old season and an old person and an old voice and an old thing come back and it sets you back and then what the you do what the Bible says for you not to do you shrink back or what the what the what the um what the King James version says you draw back you draw back because it looks familiar it looks familiar but can I tell you that sometimes God is irritating you just to see how well have you gotten he's irritating you to see can you handle the process of what I'm about to give you because if you can't handle the pressure on this level for sure you're not be able to help handle the pressure of what I'm about to put you in because there is going to be another area and another influence and another grace that is coming to this area and if you can't handle the pressure right here you going to fall there your faith yes, sir. it's on trial, it's on trial. Yes, Woo, Shana. Love me. Love me. Love me. hallelujah then I seen uh, maturity you supposed to be a lot further mature wise in the things of God than you are. And you're like, God, I just want to please you. And God said, no, you won't pull back from the stuff that you love, the stuff that pleases you, the stuff that keep 
you in comfort that that stuff that bring you to a place of familiarity you can't get away from familiarity because you like to be comfort and you like to be comforted but let me give you this what God is trying to put you maybe you're going to be in a season like he did Abraham he said Abram I need you to get up from your familiar and I need you to go to a place where I can build you and in the midst of it here comes process here comes process. He come finding himself. I'm growing because the people that once knew my failures, the ones that knew my secrets, the one that knew me, they can't know me no more because God is put me around another different um, demographic of people that say, you know what? I don't know you, but something is on you. Oh, yes. Can I tell you for the next 24 hours, you're going to get a notice something is on you. I'm calling you because something is on you. I'm going to bless you because something Something is on you. I'm going to approve you because something is on you. If you can get your mind together and say, God, the reason that you're shifting me and it feels uncomfortable, maybe you just got something. You got something on you. And because you got something on you, what do I got on me? I got the anointing of God for the spirit of the Lord. It's upon me because he has anointed me. You anointed for a task. You anointed for something that your eyes haven't seen and your ears haven't heard. And God said, I'm trying to build you, but you keep on folding in the process. So you be making progress, but you get irritated with the progress because you can't handle the process. Number three, let me jump down in a few minutes. Um, your faith. You feel like, hear me y'all, I gave for it. God, you're supposed to open the door. I ran around the church three times. God, you have to open the door. And God is like, yeah, I'm going to open the door. But can you run under pressure? Hmm. Lord, I'm not running because I want you to give me Hallelujah. I'm not running because I, I want you to give me the answer. I'm not running because um, I, I need to be approved. I'm not running because I need you to heal me. I'm running because you're good. Mm -hmm. I'm running because I know you're still God. I'm, I'm running because if you don't do it, I know you can. I'm, I'm running because it may feel like I'm, I'm, I'm in this by myself, but I know that if I begin to praise you like the um, like, like, um, 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 uh, like the, um, the Hebrew boys that we got in the final furnace and they start praising God and then they, after a while here comes the fourth man he comes in um, just like um, Paul and Silas locked in jail they get to praying and get to praising and here comes God here comes power here comes solution but can you praise in the middle of a process when God seems silent in a process you, you tripping cause you, you have a timeline and God keeps on breaking your timeline So you're ignoring, hear me, you ignore the progress because you get fainted in the process. You are making progress. You are growing. Your, your, your faith is getting built. God is doing some things, you know. God, I'm trying to, I, I'm, I need you. I need you. Can I, can I pick on you tonight? Uh, can I pick on God? I just got this. But guess what? He's still putting gas in your car. You, you, you still have insurance. You, you're still able to go. And if they change, <laughs> if they change my car, guess what? He'll give me another one. Because the God that gave me one, he'll give me another one. And I never seen the righteous forsaken. You got to come back and start reminding yourself in scripture. God, you said you would never leave me. You said that you'll supply all my needs. God, you told me you'll be a present help in the time of trouble and sorrow. God, I need you to be help right now. Oh, uh, um, uh. Um, can we talk? Here we go. 
Where's my time? Okay, we're doing good. In this time, number one, I have to be very careful who I vent to. I got to be very careful who I'm venting to because this is what I wrote down because I want you to get this. You got to stop talking to people. You got to stop talking people out to the deep waters that can't swim. You try to take people to deep waters with you and they cannot swim. And I found out this. Um, Daniel, I found out if I come and bring somebody with me that cannot swim, if they panic, they'll kill the both of us because they're going to be fighting the water and fighting the help at the same time. And what I had to learn is this. When they start kicking the water, you got to let them exhaust themselves so you can help them. So for some of you, I have to ask God, I'm trying to bring people into my deepness. I'm trying to bring people while my faith is on try. I'm trying to bring because they probably they're supposed to be a witness with me, but some people can't come on trial. This is what I found out. Some I love Metlaw, so this is what hell this this helping me. Um, what, what I found out on Metlaw, sometimes they bring the wrong person up on the stand because the one that came up on the stand it actually talked against you rather than talking for you. What they what they said actually killed your case. Then it helped your case. So if your faith on trial, I have to be given, hallelujah, I have to be very careful. Who is standing with me? Who did you ask? I need you to touch and agree with me. Because some of y'all, the people that you asked to touch and agree with you, never did. It's just like when you say, um, uh, um, please keep me in prayer. You're, you're in my prayers. The majority of the time, that person never prays. Oh, God. Let me, let me, let me move on because I do have scripture. I promise you I have scripture. Uh, my, number, number two, number two, number two. Uh, because my faith is on trial, um, it's developing my faith where I'm going. Is developing my faith for where I'm going. The reason that your faith is under attack is because of how big the blessing is on the other side of it. What God is trying to say and demonstrate on the other side, but you're so you're so in so consumed with what you see versus what you know. Come, for we know that all things work together. Right. So if it's working for me, it's possible that it look like it can be working against me. It's possible. Hallelujah. Because you got to understand uh, if if it's working, if 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 we know that all things work together for the good. Um, well, at first it wasn't working um, for the good. No, for some stuff, it wasn't working to, in your favor. What God did, he took some stuff that wasn't working and got some things that was working and collided them together and it had to work. So, so now what God is trying to do is that I'm trying to, I'm trying to plant your faith while you are in a position of God. Where are you? What are you saying? What's next? What are you planning on doing? I'm trying to figure out what's going on. And God is saying, what you're trying to do, you're trying to override me. What I need you to do is walk with me. I need you to follow me. The steps, hallelujah, the steps of a good man are ordered by the Lord. And what happened is this, while you're on your way and while you're going, maybe God is ordering your steps in the midst of something that seemed like it's supposed to swallow you up. Prove it, Pastor here we go. What I'm saying to you is um, the, 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 uh, the, um, the children of Israel are walking through the sea. The sea opens up. They're walking through the sea. The waves are up and they're walking through the sea and they're standing there. It's standing still.
still waiting for them to get to where they're supposed to go. If you just think about the fear and you think about the mindset, the psychological mind, what the mind is going through right now, what the mind is fearing that we're trying to mind, what the mind is trying to figure out with waves on the side of you. You own dry land, but there's waves on the side of you. You can't look back because what's going on behind you is devastating. Some of you all, you pay too much attention. You pay too much attention. Here we go. You pay too much attention to what's going on behind you, but rather than God is trying to rescue you and put you into. So what God is trying to say now, uh, your faith is on trial. Let me give you scripture. I got to give you scripture. I have to give you scripture. Um, uh, James 1, James 1, James 1, James 1, verse 2. James 1, verse 2. Uh, if this helping you, put some fire in the chat, please. If this helping you, put some fire in the chat. Um, if this helping you, uh, put some fire in the chat. Um, James 1, verse 2. James 4, verse 2. Hallelujah. 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 I'm waiting. I'm waiting because I got a, I got a part that I want to go to in a few minutes. And I promise you, it's going to turn your life. I promise you. I'm trying to wait. I want to go to it so bad. But I'm, I'm, I'm going to pace myself. And it says this. Consider it nothing but joy. My brother, my sister, whenever you fall into var- um, various trials, be assured that the testing of your faith through experience produce endurance leading to spiritual maturity and inward peace wait a minute what God is trying to do for some of you all is bring you to a maturity he's trying to figure he's trying to get you to be in a position where you don't panic and you don't act at hallelujah you don't act childish in the midst of a trial because you when I was a child I thought like a child I reasoned like a child But when I became an adult, I put away childish things. Can you say this? Um, Have you responded to God as an adult? Has you have you been responding to God? Have you been reasoning with God as a child? God, why are you gonna do this? And God, it seemed like every time, and God and God is saying, I need you to grow your tail up. I need you to go to another place because you're about to. Hallelujah. You're about to elevate some others if you can just get solid yourself. The reason that some of you are, some of you, your faith is on trial. You are on the verge of history. You are one, for some people, one praise, one gift. One hallelujah, watch this, one yes, come here, one repentance from making history in your entire family that your family's going to see. You know what? They used to say, this run in our family and our family experienced this and we know what goes on. But you're one, you're one praise, you're one, you're one hallelujah, you're one, you're one thank you Jesus, you're one turn around, you're one, you're, you're just one praise, you're one response from God saying, yes, here you go, welcome to a new life, welcome unto a new season, welcome unto a new place. Welcome unto a new space. Welcome to another place of reasoning. Welcome to a new anointing. Welcome here because now this is something your family has never encountered. All right, let me finish. It says, verse 4 says, and let endurance have its perfect result. Mm. Let endurance have, one translation say, let endurance have its perfect work. Something is being worked out in you. Um, when you get your pizza, you get it and it's round and flat. But it didn't start out like that. That dough didn't start out like that. It took some pressing. It took some shaping. 
It, it took some time. Put it in, hallelujah. Put it in the oven. Let it sit because now it's going through endurance. I'm trying to see what you put on it. Can it handle the heat? Can it handle what God, yeah, because you're about to come through like pure gold. You're about to be made. Yeah, so can you handle the pressure of what you're going through right now? Can you handle the pressure? Because in the midst of the pressure, God is producing something out of you. God is trying to cause something supernatural to come out of you. Supernatural faith. Supernatural favor. Supernatural results coming out of me and I never be in a position ever again to forfeit it. I got it through endurance. You want somebody to hand it over to you but you appreciate it better when you have went through something when your name has been dropped through the mud when you have been said no consecutively when you have been hallelujah when you've been at the door and it seemed like I'm about to open it and it always stay locked. You are at a great place because God is saying, you know what? I want to see how, how you handle this trial. Hallelujah. This is what the Lord just spoke to me and said. He said, Dion, I'm looking for them to, pre to present the right evidence. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes, He's looking for you. I got to hurry up. He's looking for you to present the right evidence. Guess what he did was, um, you know, I love him. I love him. I love him. Um, he said, you know what? What I'm going to do for you, you extend that and you have a prosecutor. The Bible says this, that <laughs> you have, you have, you have someone that is going before God and he's a, the accuser of the brethren. He's going before God day and night, trying to cause you to come down, trying to convince God, God, you don't know what you're doing. And God saying, you know what I'm going to do for you? Um, just because the prosecutor is here, guess what I'm going to do for you? I'm going to become the judge and the lawyer. I'm going to give you the evidence and then I'm going to tell you not guilty. I'm going to show you that I'm by your hallelujah. I'm going to be by your side in the midst of this trial because I'm trying to work something out in you. I'm trying to get something. I'm trying to get you to see something. Hallelujah. Let me slow down. So consider, let, let, let's do this. Let's do this. Let's do this. Consider. I'm, I'm just reading Bible. Consider, consider it nothing but joy. That's what you can't do right now. You can't put, you can't put joy in a trial. You can't, you can't put joy in a trial because you too childish. You feel like, God, let me have a temp uh, temper tantrum. And God said, no, no, no. In the midst of this, I'm trying to see how well you maturely respond to me. Some people are going to walk away. Some people are going to draw back. Some people are going to... But can I say, in everything, God, I don't understand, but in everything, I'm going to give you praise in everything, in everything, in everything. I'm going to give thanks in everything, in everything, in everything. I don't know the outcome. I don't feel, I don't know where it's coming from. I don't understand. I know we're supposed to be possessing the land. Lord, I don't know where it's coming from. I just told this man, we're going to have it all. I just, I know, I, I know what I told, but God said, what I'm trying to do, I'm trying to produce something in you because the next one is going to be more money. So what do you do? When I'm a Korea, Shaya. What would, hallelujah. What do you do, Maha? What do you do when the next one is four million? What do you do, hallelujah. What do you do when you have to move? Hold by Harikai. 
And in the midst of you got to move, you feel like, hallelujah, you feel like I can't, I can't draw back. I, 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 can't, I can't go backwards. Uh, God, and then you start wondering, God, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I'm just feeling, I just, I'm, just, I'm just being led up to the Spirit of God. I don't know. I don't know. And God said, what I'm trying to do right now, I'm trying to build your endurance because sometimes what happens is this. Hallelujah. I'm just flowing with the Holy Ghost now. Uh, hallelujah. What you do, you stop giving. You, 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 you stop praying. You stop doing all of this because you're under pressure. And God said, no, don't withdraw yourself. Come back to me. Get back to God. Whatever you're going to do, make sure you stay with God because you can remember the last time God got you in it. And you got to remember, if it feels like you're about to come out of it, guess what? God will get you out of it. Hallelujah. As long as you're going to function like God say. Hallelujah. So, let me read the scripture. Let me read the scripture. Oh, man. I'm gonna, oh, Jesus. <coughs> Consider it nothing but joy, my brother, my sisters, when you find yourself in various trials. Be, be assured that the testing of your faith Mm. The testing of your faith. So, can, can you pass the money test? Can you pass the, the patience test? Can you pass the emotional test? Can you pass the fasting test? Can you pass, hear me, can you pass the mind test? Let's, let's say this. Can you pass the praise test? I'm not praising. I, don't, I, I mean, like, God, I mean, and you, and you start finding ways and you start talking. You start talking all the way left. And God saying, you know what? You forgot that I'm the way maker. You forgot that I am the way. You forgot that I am the way, the truth, and the life. What you need, I'm going to bring life into your dilemma that feel like it's about to die. I'm going to show you your way out. And I'm going to show you that what the devil been telling you is a lie, is a lie because I am the truth. And the truth will always direct you to an answer that's going to give you victory. Hallelujah. Through experience produces endurance, leading to spiritual maturity and uh, and 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 and, and um, endure um, and inner peace. Here we go. Let endurance have its perfect results, and do a and do a thorough work. Let it do a thorough work. You don't like the process that the Lord make you sit. Uh that the Lord make you lie down. He maketh me lie down. Ugh. He maketh me lie down. But some of you all, some of you all, what you're going, and I'm going to teach about it very soon because God keep on talking to me about it. But some of you all, you're acting like the prophet. You're going and finding a tree. You go into the juniper tree um, because you're frustrated and emotionally you're, you're, you're a wreck. And God is like, why are you tripping? Why are you tripping? The only thing I'm doing right now is making you and you're folding and you're, and you're not passing the test. Your faith is on trial. The, the, the only thing it is, you're just in an irritated process. I stayed on that too long. All right. Uh, Romans 5. Romans 5 and 3. 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 We rejoice too when we run into problems and trials. For we know 
that they are good for us. They help us learn to be patient. And patience develop, develops the strength, develops strength of character in us and help us trust God more each, each time we use it until finally our hope and faith are strong and steady. Oh, Jesus. I wish I had a church. I wish I had a church that, that loved the Bible. I, I wish I had some that are get excited about the Bible. You, you don't, you're not getting excited about that because you don't like this part. Because you want it. You feel like that working with God and because you serve God, you shouldn't go through nothing. You got to understand this. The first, Jesus said this. If, you, if you're going to be for me, you're going to be persecuted for my sake. You're going to be tested. And, and, and this, is what, this is what I've learned. Dude, this is what I learned. If it feels like it's hard, for sure it's the devil. And if it feels easy, for sure it's God. But what happens when it's the opposite? What do you mean? What, what, what do you mean? Jesus is the Christ. And he had to endure being spat upon. The Bible said he endured the cross. My lungs are collapsing. Hallelujah. My blood pressure is going up. Hallelujah. I'm about to choke and die and drown on my own blood. And I endured it for somebody yes. that sometimes don't trust me. Woo. Jesus. Woo. I'm going to read this again. Can you handle this? Liberty City. I don't know how. But I've been going through the house. Lord, I thank you. Lord, I thank you. I'm not moved by what I see. I'm moved by what I believe. I'm moved by what I believe. If you continue in my words, and then you, you, then you are my disciples indeed. And then the scripture says, uh, and then you can ask what you will. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. So, so, so I'm, I'm standing. I'm standing firm, worshiping the Lord. So this scripture says this. Um, we can rejoice too when we run into problems and trials. We, for, check this out, for we know that they are good for us. We know that they are good for us. Here we go. They help us learn to be patient. And patience develop strength of character in us. Helping us trust God more each time until we, until we get to the final, we get to this, this final place, right? Here we go. Our hope and faith are strong and steady. So what I'm not going to do, I'm not going to panic in the midst of the process. What I'm going to do, I'm going to praise in the midst of the process. Because praise keeps the answer before you. When I praise God, God always remind me of the way that I'm going to escape. Even if it feels like there is a little far off, I just know if I stay the course, I am going to go to the other side. I am going to experience victory. I am going to see what the end is going to be. I am going to hold what I've been believing to hold. I am going to embrace what I've been planning to embrace. I am going to lay hands on what I see. I am going to walk on what God told me I was going to tread upon. I can have it. I'm, I'm going to see it because my faith is in the Lord. So what I'm doing, I'm hallelujah, what I'm doing in the midst of it, I'm praising him regardless of what I say. I touch, I put my hand on it, pastor. I put oil around it and I still got denied. Let me tell you something. Delay it's not a denial. 
Hadoku Mahanikasa. I keep on having my kusha. I keep on having miscarriages. Come here, come here, let me tell you something. God, in the midst of it, God, I thank you that you are healing my womb. On the next go round, I'm going to hold this baby. This baby going to come out. I got a promise from the Lord that I can be fruitful and multiply. Hallelujah. Yes, Trying to see where to go. So, uh, so let me help you right here. So the enemy fights your development. Watch this. The reason that he fights your development in the midst of the process, because he's not threatened by anybody that don't grow. Come on. If you're going to grow in the midst of it, yeah. remember... It's your 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 gaining process or your gaining progress. Let me say that in the midst of a process. So what he don't know in the midst of being irritated, I'm still growing. I'm still being developed. My anointing is growing. My response is growing. My my delivery is is, is growing. My reasoning is growing. My 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 grace is growing. Yep, uh huh. My discerning is growing. Yep, all of this is growing. My interpretation of things are growing. So I'm coming out better than I went in. I just gotta know in the process, God is working something out in the midst of it. Huh. Uh, let me give you this last scripture and I'm done. Let me give you this last scripture. We're going to go somewhere. If y'all want to. James 1 and 12. James 1 and 12. James 1 and 12. If this helping anybody, drop some heat in the, in the comments. Uh, let me know it's helping you. Hallelujah. Thank you. Hallelujah. Great, great, great. Hallelujah. Whew. Man, I'm, oh, man. Man, 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 man. I just seen another scripture. Uh, let, let me, let me, hold, hold, hold James. Yeah, I got a little time. Hold James um, 1 and, and, and uh, 1 and 12. I'm going to read James 1 and 4 again, but I'm going to read it in the King James. And it says this, and it says this, where? Uh, wait, wait, okay, here we go. Uh, can send it in nothing but joy, my brother, when you fall in doubt, you're okay, great. Uh, and then, no, 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 this is the same version I had, I'm sorry. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm reading I'm reading it all the way through. It says this, verse 4 said, let endurance have its perfect result and, and do a thorough, on thorough work, so that you may be perfect and completely developed in your faith, lacking nothing. You will be completely developed in your faith, lacking what? Lacking nothing. So, so do. So what happened is this. When you come out, when you come out, you're coming out saying, God, you have upgraded your resume in me. I can be like Daniel. I laid on the lion. The lion's supposed to, they threw me in the lion's den, thinking that I was going to die. And the favor of God comes on my life and tames the lion. And the lion becomes my friend. So what should be eating me up becomes a help to me. So now I'm going to rest just like they're going to rest. Because God is putting me in a place where my faith is being developed. And when I come out, I lack nothing. I lack nothing. Can you come to a place and say, God, I'm believing for the day. I can, this, I can say this and declare it with strength and boldness. I lack nothing. I'm sorry that y'all don't, don't like this stuff like that. All right, James 1 and 12. Now, I understand this is talking about making it to heaven. But th th I, I think you're going to experience heaven on earth first. Come on, Liberty City. You're about to experience heaven on earth first. It says this, anyone who meets, um, who me anyone who meets a testing, challenging head on 
managed to stick it out is mighty fortunate. For such person, such, such person's loyalty in, the, um, in love with God, the reward is life and more life. Wait a minute. The reward is life and more life. So just not life in heaven. I'm going to have life here. So I've been, hallelujah. So I've been facing some trials, but the, the scripture says I stuck with it and I was head on with it. I looked at I looked at eyeball to eyeball and told it, you know what? You just like a giant, you're coming down to me. You're gonna come down. I'm declaring tonight by the time you get home, there is some stuff gonna be looking for you in an email. Tomorrow morning, you're gonna wake up to an email, you're gonna wake up to an approval, you're gonna wake up to some things changed around on paperwork, some things of money gonna show up, some different things gonna happen on your job for position. This is Bakora Maharia. Hallelujah. I heard this by the Spirit of God. This two, now there's two things. Two things. Two things. One, one, God just said this. Um, there's some person online. He said this. Get ready. You're about to make more money at another job. Oh, ba ba ba. And then the Makora Baha. Then the Lord told me to tell somebody else. You haven't gotten a promotion because God said you have stopped your faith. You homo quarter behind. Let me tell you something. I want y'all to look at me good. That some of you all, you supposed to got a promotion on your job and they stopped it because it's like all of a sudden they changed their mind. And God said this, what I call, I was talking up for you and I was causing favor to talk up for you, but you changed your mind. Get back to God. Look at me in this screen, y'all. Get back to God. If you, come on, some of you all, you have been robbing God. I'm, I'm, I'm going to say it. You've been robbing God. Some of you all, you've been robbing him of prayer time. You don't show up anymore. No, no, no. You don't show up in prayer anymore. You're robbing him of the opportunity to be your guide. You are robbing him. Yeah, you're robbing him of him being the soundness of your mind. You are robbing him. Yeah, I know you thought I was about to talk about money. I'm going to talk about that in a few minutes. But right now, you're robbing him of him being the soundness of your mind so now your mind goes everywhere can you you have robbed him I'm, God, I'm leaving God for more money God said you know what you keep on taking from me you think that God is going to keep on honoring you when you dishonor him, you know, the scripture said, honor the Lord with thy substance and with the first fruit of all thine increase. Then your boy going to be filled with plenty. You're about to come. Just repent tonight. That's all you got to do is repent. Say, God, I'm coming back and I'm going to make it right. I'm getting back to God because God in the beginning was the word and the word was with God. So tithing is a part of the word and the tithing is what we're going to do and follow the word of God. I'm going to give. I'm going to honor God. I'm going to honor God. Watch this. I'm going to honor God in giving time. I'm going to honor God because what's, now, what's going on, I've seen this pattern at Liberty City. It breaks tonight. When you go through, you drop God in us. And the reason I say us, I'm talking about the church. I ain't talking about me and lady. Yeah. But tonight, there's some of Makora Baha. There's some of you on this live um, tonight. Oh, man, I got a few minutes. Uh, there's some of you on this live tonight. What God want me to tell you, this is what we're ending with tonight. This is what he want me to tell you. He said, can you praise me when you are uncomfortable? Can you praise me when you're frustrated? Can you praise me when you are come when you're confused? But if you can compra if you can praise me, what you're really gonna praise me is because God, I'm convinced. I'm convinced that you're gonna do what you said you was gonna do. 
I'm convinced that you're going to bring me out into a wealthy place. I'm convinced that you're going to turn my dilemma around. I'm convinced that what I've been looking for is now looking for me. I'm convinced that my car is going to be sure. I'm convinced my, 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 my body is going to be sure. I'm convinced that my house is sure. I'm convinced in the next few days, I'm going to be packing the move. In the next few days, I'm going to be gassing up. In the next few days, I'm going to be saying, God, you show me favor on my job. I'm, in the next few, in the next few days, I'm going to be declaring, God, this is another, that's another anointing on my life. That's another grace. That's another grace that hit me. That's another wind that is on me. Because I am convinced. Hallelujah. I'm convinced. Tonight, I want you to come. God been talking to me. Said, Dion, don't I always come through? Yes, you do, Lord. He said, why would I not now? Hallelujah. In the process, in this process, it could see like it could seem like my marriage is going left. But in this process, God is saying, you know what? I'm, I'm bringing some progress. I'm about to fix you all. I'm about to put you back together. I'm about to bring, um, I'm about to bring a honeymoon to your marriage. I'm about to bring a, hun a honeymoon to your heart again. Because you know what? You can love a person but not no longer be in love with them. And God is saying this. Hallelujah. God is saying this, what I'm trying to do for Liberty City, for some of you all, you have been asking God, God, I'm believing you for a new job. I'm believing you for a job that give me more money, but it's better on my hours. The Lord told me this. He said, tell them I'm approving a lot of them in the next 24 and 48 hours. You're about to have a new position. You're about to have a new job and you're going to buy Halakoma. You're about to make more money than you ever made on one job. I'm talking about, you're not going to, I'm for you that's been planning on getting another job the Lord said hold still I'm gonna upgrade your job that you got now what I'm trying to do is show you that my hand is strong yes. shut up Liberty City he's gonna prove to us that he is strong can he prove to you while you're getting ready to faint. Uh, let me, y'all know the scripture. Don't be weary in well-doing. Wait a minute. Uh, hold on. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I think I missed the scripture. Uh, uh, uh. Yep, Hebrews, Hebrews 10, uh, 10, 26. I know I missed the scripture. Hebrews 10, 26. I mean, um, 36. Write this down. Hurry up. Write it down. For he, for ye, for ye, excuse me, for ye have need of patience that after you have done the will of God, ye might receive the promise. You need patience. That after you have done the will of God. God, I've been doing your will. Where in the world are you? On trial with you. I'm waiting for you to get convinced. And have confidence. They that wait upon the Lord. He shall renew their strength. You're going to gain strength. And better character in the midst of you getting, you're going to grow in the progress. But the Lord is going to upgrade your, his resume in you in the process. So either way, you're going to come out better than what you went in. Hallelujah. 
Hallelujah. They sleep. I'm sorry. Online, I'm telling you something. Liberty City, you haven't seen nothing yet. Some of you all, you've been dancing, you've been running. God said, you know what? What I'm about to see, I'm about to see what that praise be like. I'm going I'm, I'm to put a little pressure on your prayer. Hallelujah. I'm going I'm to turn your, 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 uh, your, your pressure into praise, but I'm going to put a little pressure on that praise to make sure that it's authentic. Can you praise me when they said no? Can you praise me when the odds are stacked against you? Can you still praise me? Can you praise me when you're at the crossroad? Can you praise me when you don't quite understand it? Can you Can you praise me? And I'm saying, God, I'm praising you. Not because I got all the answers and because I see everything. I'm praising you because I'm convinced. I'm convinced in you. You have convinced me. If anybody told me you wouldn't come through, I tell them to their face, you a liar because he always come through. I'm convinced. Shama. Thank you, Jesus. I'm convinced. I'm convinced. All right. I'm convinced. <coughs> I'm convinced. I'm convinced that he's a healer. I'm convinced. I'm com- I'm I'm convinced that 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 when 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 I was naked he clothed me. I'm convinced. You can't tell me when when I when I was when I was homeless. Um, God gave me somewhere to stay. You can't. I'm convinced. I'm convinced. Let me tell y'all something. I'm convinced. I told I, I told my family. God gonna have us out by the end of the year. Before we go into the new year. God going to have us out. Y'all, it got all the way to the 28. I was like, God, what you going to do? What you going to do? But I'm telling you this. I was so convinced by his will that God, even though um, I'm trembling, but I don't went from trembling to trusting. And I know that sometimes you, that, that doubt start hitting your mind, but you got to tell doubt when it comes to your mind, I'm casting you down because hallelujah, I got faith in my heart. You got to collaborate. I don't stood, I don't stood and confessed. I don't, I don't, you're going to tell me out of your confession, you're going to quit. The word faint means to cave in, quit, and lose hope. You're going to tell me you have gotten this close, and you're going to decide, I'm going to God, you ain't going to come through. You, you, you done got convinced by what somebody else said. So let, me, let me give you this. And I know I'm on my time. Uh, charge them. Charge, yeah. Sometimes the ones that you feel like supposed to believe, God will tell you, don't share it. Because sometimes who you're sharing it with don't have the faith and they're not convinced like you. So what they will do is convince you that it's not so. So people may not be buying churches right now, but we are. The housing market may be looking crazy, but God will fix it for you to move. You've been saying this, but do you believe it? Do you have confidence that rules and regulations are changed for me? God, you're changing rules for me. You're moving paperwork around for me. You're doing it for me. And I'm going to tell you this. I'm going to live and I'm going to smile. I'm going to praise you, God, in the midst of it. No matter what I see, no matter what I go through, I'm going to stay ten toes down because I know that he had that begun a good work. It's going to complete it. But I know I'm in this process. And, I, and, and I'm in the will of God. So after you have done the will of God, 
You need patience. After you've done the will of God, you're going to receive the prize. You're going to, you're going to receive a reward. I'm, God, I'm, I'm standing here. Regard, regardless of what I see, I'm expecting reward. So I'm convinced. I'm convinced. I'm convinced. I'm convinced. Someone asked me the other day, Pastor D, uh, what, what do you see? So, you know, just ask me certain things about ministry. And I said, I'm convinced that you're going to have to come early to get a seat. I'm convinced. I'm convinced that we're going to come to church and they're going to have to put out chairs. I'm convinced that we're going to have to go to multiple services. I am convinced that we'll go to what the scriptures say. We lack nothing. You got to walk in your house and say, I lack nothing. Um, let me... Let me give y'all this, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna let y'all go. Me and my family walked in the house. We command a sectional be in this house. Pictures will be on the wall. TV will hang up over the fireplace. We will have this. Let me tell you this. We woke up one morning. And someone said, give me your address. I'm bringing it to your house. I'm, at, I'm, I'm shopping today. And God told me to buy y'all a sectional. What else do you need for your house? Well, pick out the chairs and tell me. Hallelujah. The reason I'm convinced because we walked through a hallelujah. We walked through an empty living room. Yeah. Saying, Father, we thank you that our house is fully furnished. Hallelujah. Father, we thank you right now that we lack nothing in the name of Jesus. I was telling someone the other day, we may not have the type of car that we desire, but at least they paid for. Yes, we don't have a note. So we get an opportunity to enjoy Someone asked me today, Pastor, you ready to get a new car? I said, no, nah, unless it's given to me. Well, yeah. Uh, my next car, either they're going to give me the money for it or they're going to buy it. Because I don't want a note. Because the, the, the money that I would use for a note, I want to be able to give. I'm a sower. Lord, put the 10 grand in my hand. Mm. My, 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 the quarter. Put the 10 grand in my hand. I want to sow it. Yeah. Yeah. I'm convinced. I'm convinced. Can't nobody tell me. Y'all, we went from being homeless to getting to, <laughs> getting to the, the signing. And finding out that it's the least purchase. Looking at the hallelujah. Look, going in the house and looking that there was a for sale sign that was in front of our house. That for sale sign is in my garage. Hallelujah. Y'all will believe one day. Hallelujah. God done done too much for me. He done done too, he done done too much for me. That I'm not hallelujah. I had one man of God. Um, he he he, uh, he he texted me the other day and said, "Man, I really I really really because um, I, I Facetime and showed him the house." He said, "Man, I really really love your house." He said, "But God told me to tell you, uh, um, you gonna stay there a little bit, but He gonna upgrade you again." Lady, they got quiet. I get them. Yeah. I'm, all, I'm convinced. I'm convinced. If he did it one time, he'll do it again in a bigger scale. I'm convinced. He'll give me 10 grand a soul. Yeah. I'm convinced that there's somebody 
that has been raised up to use their authority, their influence, and their resources just to be a blessing to me. I'm convinced. So you can toil. Liberty City, let me, let me tell you, you can toil. You can come to a man, I'm on the hustle. I, 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 I got to do this. I got, okay, you have to. You have to. You Because what we have done is put hustle in front of your faith. Now, I, now I do believe that you got to put some work in. Now, I do believe in that. But I'm talking about you hustling so much that you leave God out. That's the reason why you hustling. So you're going to have to continue to hustle. You running after every dollar. And God said, I'm being your source and you forgot it. All right, let me stop. Y'all got mad at me. I think my number's changing and everything. Tonight, if you're on this live and you need Jesus, you got to come back to God. You got to get back to God because if, if you're not with God, you're going to be in the middle of something so, so traumatic very soon. The world is about to take some turns. And I'm going to tell you this. There are some people that are saying, you know what? I have time. And you're about to be made known. The world is about to see. Some people don't have no time. But I came tonight to tell you this. God will give you some time by repenting. God will save your life by repenting. No, I'm not trying to scare you to get saved, but what I'm trying to tell you is the world is getting darker. And Jesus, like God is like, hey, I'm looking for some lights. I'm looking for some people that be the light of the world. I'm looking for some people that will be a light in a dark place. Can he, can he depend on you to be a light in a dark place? Can he? Can he? Can he depend on you to be a salt to a, to a thirsty generation? You got to receive Jesus. Number one, you need to receive Jesus. Number two, you need to be healed. Number, number three, are all in. Put all in. You need to join a church. You, you are in a moment right now. You need a church. You need, you need community. God did not design you to do life by yourself. He never designed anybody to do life by themselves. That's why that God made um, Adam and Eve. Uh, he, uh, he didn't, Adam could not do life by himself. He needed community. You look through the Bible, you see God always say, one can chase a thousand, but two, two is better than one. A three card... <laughs> If any two touch and agree, you need community. Tonight, you need a place that's going to love you through, love you into, love you in process, but also love you in progress. You need a place. So number one, you need somebody. 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 Number two. Number, number one, you need Jesus. Number two, you need healing. Number three, you need all in. For any of those, help me out tonight. Come on through tonight. Hallelujah. Come on, Liberty City, let's pray. People are making a quality decision right now. They are thinking about it. In the midst of thinking about it, we're saying, hey, just say, God, I need you. If you need it in the comments, just put it, just put it in the comments. Let somebody pray for you. Let somebody pray for you. Let somebody pray for you. I'm requesting prayer for my cousin Dennis. Okay. Uh, okay. Cool, cool, cool. Father, in the name of Jesus, I touch and agree with her for her family. Lord, that you're going to touch, you're going to heal, deliver, set free whatever she is in need of and they're and they're in need of too. Lord, I touch and agree with her that manifestation of power happen in their life in the name of Jesus. Number 2, 
My uncle has stage four cancer. Uh, he is in hospice, just found out. Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord, he's still breathing. He's still here. You can heal. There's nothing too late. Father, even if it have to be like a Lazarus situation, we speak to it and command him to live. We speak right now to cancer and we command cancer go in the name of Jesus. Lord, convince him that your power can heal him and raise him up and give him more time. Father, in the name of Jesus, let somebody, matter of fact, let her, uh, uh, um, cause her to have confidence that you will cause her to lay hands on the sick and see them recover. Lord, let Ursula, um, Ursula go and lay hands on her uncle and raise her uncle up in the name of Jesus. Father, let her have confidence tonight that you can do it through her. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Uh, healing of... Hmm? Got coma? Got coma. Father, in the name of Jesus. Mm -hmm. Ma'am, tonight, the Lord going to demonstrate his power through you tonight. <clears throat> Glaucoma, I command you in the name of Jesus, go now. I command all the scales, everything that concerning your eyes, I command right now in the name of Jesus. God, you clear her up right now. Let clarity come in the name of Jesus. I thank you right now, Father, that you're touching things in the back of her eyeballs, in the name of Jesus, back in the back of her socket. I command right now in the name of Jesus that you're causing clarity to come in the name of Jesus. Oh, Habakkuk, Jesus, open her eyes now. In the name, I command your eyes. To be clear in Jesus' name, if you take your glasses off, you'll see. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Oh, well, we have requests tonight. Woo! I'm about to do a general. Y'all going to get mad at me, but I'm about to do a general. Hallelujah. I'm already over time. Hallelujah. Father, in the name of Jesus, I declare by the Spirit of God, a lot of you all could go and touch the person that you're praying about. You can do it. Yeah. The Bible says these signs shall follow them that believe. Yeah. Yeah. You're a believer. Signs shall follow you. So for some of you all, get on the phone and call them and command them to be healed. Go put your hands on them and cause them to be healed. I can release my faith, but you have the power too. So Father, I touch and agree with everyone that have someone in need. Touch them right now, convince them that they have the power to lay hands on the sick and see them recover in the name of Jesus. Now, uh, Evans, tell me where's, uh, how's your vision? Tell me where's your vision? I'm, I'm telling you, look for your healing tonight. <clears throat> look for your healing tonight. Look for your healing tonight. <clears throat> If you feel like I'm insensitive, I'm sorry tonight, uh, but go lay hands on them. And if you feel like you don't have no power for that, you need to question your walk with Jesus. You, he gave you authority. He put healing inside of you, not just Pastor D. He said that you should go out. So tonight, pick up the phone, go lay hands on your sister. Get your uncle, get your daddy, get your brother-in-law, whoever it is. Go put your hand on them and say, in the name of Jesus, I command you to live. I command you to be healed in Jesus' name. And expect Jesus to work through you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Great, great, great. Pat says she going. Hallelujah. All right. Uh, your last name, Evans. Your last name, Evans. Glaucoma was there. Um, if you have the faith, God has the power. I'm waiting on you right now. Right now. Tell me what do you see. Tell me what do you see. Hallelujah. Anybody that know her, get a tag her or something. Hallelujah. I'm already way over my time. 15 minutes over my time. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Prince has surgery in the morning. Father, you are the healer for Prince. And so, Father, I thank you that his grandmama going to lay hands on him. 
And healing is going, hallelujah. Healing is going to be. She said, I'm sorry, I'm driving. I believe. I believe by the time you get finished driving, woman of God, you can go and tell us, God has cleared up my eyes in the name of Jesus. We thank you for joining us tonight. Uh, come see us in person. I promise you'll love it. Uh, if you are, if you're, if, if you're close, come on by. Come on by. You'll love it. I promise you. All right, everybody. Tonight, <clears throat> we're believing God for uh, our offering tonight. Well, first of all, if you was blessed tonight, let, put it in the comments if you're blessed tonight. If you were blessed tonight. <laughs> if you're blessed tonight. Uh, <clears throat> tonight, we're believing God for our building. Everything that you're going to sow tonight, we're giving towards our building because we're believing God. Uh, <clears throat> the blessing of it. We supposed to close on a Good Friday. The owner came and told me, we, of course, Good Friday's gone. The owner told me, he said, I really, really want you all to buy the building. And so I'm going to give you all time. He gave us first, he gave us to the 17th, then he changed it again and gave us to the 22nd. So everybody, let's, God is doing his part. Now, Liberty City, let's do ours. Let's do our part by giving. Some people have already pledged on what they're going to give. Some people have already been pledging. At, at the moment, I think it's 30, uh, 3360 that has already been pledged. But tonight, you can give tonight. I don't care if you say, Pastor D, I'm giving 20 I'm giving $20. I'm giving $50. I'm giving $100. I'm, I'm giving. I'm giving $5. Tonight, I want you to give something that challenge you. If you're in the midst of a faith fight, you can sow your way out. I'm a living witness. You can sow yourself. You can sow your way into a miracle. You can sow your way into a turnaround. And so tonight, I want you to trust the Lord. I want you to trust the Lord with your, with your giving. For some of you all, I want you to say, Pastor D, uh, uh, I've, been, I've been off with my tithing. I've been off with my tithing. I'm, I'm, I'm going to honor the Lord. I'm coming. I'm going to honor the Lord tonight. Start it back tonight. Start it back tonight. Why? Because you trust the Lord. It's not about the church. It's about you trusting the Lord. It has all to do with you and what he want to do in your life. So tonight, I'm trusting the Lord. I'm trusting the Lord. I want you to trust the Lord with me. We're trusting the Lord to buy this building. Once we get finished with this building, we're going to have 400 seats in this building. Do you know that somebody, a church is already waiting on us to uh, um, um, redo the building? Because they're going to give us 400 chairs. Yeah. So God is already working. God is already working. But now we have to do our part. We have to do our part. The Bible says when you come into the house of the Lord, I, I bring in my offering. I know you said, Pastor D, I'm not in the house of the Lord. But online you are. We're gathered. We're assembled together. So what I do, I bring the Lord an offering. I'm saying, God, tonight I'm trusting you with this. I don't care what it is. Lord, I trust you with this. And I believe what I have in my hand, it may leave my hand, but it would never leave my life. God is going to cause it to multiply because what I have in my hand is seed. But harvest, when I release the seed, harvest come. Let me tell you something. Harvest cannot, I mean, seed cannot grow on the counter. You got to put it in the right ground. When you put it in the right ground, here comes harvest. And it always be greater than what you sow. The scripture says, as long as the earth shall remain, there's going to be seed time and harvest. So tonight, that's what we're doing. We're giving unto the Lord because we're trusting him. And if you're on this live, you said, Pastor D, I'm led to sow a thousand dollars toward this building. Obey the Lord. If you're on this live, you say, Pastor D, I feel in my heart I need to sow $500 into the building project. You can sow it. We're going to be so appreciative to you sowing it. I promise you we are because we have something great and we're about to make history buying this building. So let's do it tonight. Let's do it tonight. Let's do it tonight. Let's do it tonight. Hallelujah. Uh, can we put the giving information up? Is up? It's up? Okay. I'm, I'm frozen. I don't know. Hallelujah. I don't see it, lady. Y'all see it? Okay. I don't see it. Oh, here you go. Here you go. I'm behind. I'm sorry. All right. There, there are ways to give. Now, if you want to give towards the building project, it is Liberty City. Uh, you can do GiveLify at Liberty City. 
Go, go on Givelify, look up Liberty City Church. You can give there. Or you want to do Cash App, is Liberty City Campaign. You can sow there. Or <clears throat> we're going to have um, Sunday, we're going to put it up. There's, we have a text to give now. So we're working on all kind of ways to make sure that it's easy for you and safe and secure for you to sow to this good ground because we're about to possess the land. All right. All right. So uh, everybody that's on, I want you to hold your um, hold your device up. Hold your device up. Hold your whatever. I want you to say debt has disappeared. Lack has left. Part is flee. Wealth is accumulated. Y'all saying something? Oh, okay. So, <laughs> I'm up here. I don't want to hear nothing. Say, <laughs> so, wealth, uh, uh, wealth is assigned to me. Say, <laughs> so, money is growing. And my money is multiplying. Wealth and riches are in my house. I will never be broke. Another day in my life. Wealth is assigned to me. Wealth is my responsibility. And wealth is my reality. I'm blessed to be a blessing. I love you all. Thank you all for sowing tonight. Thank you all for being a part of this. Um, we're working on something. Something so great. We're working on it. And um, I would love for you all to be a part of it. Um, <clears throat> on the 20th. On the 20th, we're having, well, the, the, the 20th through the 21st is Witness Weekend. That's a weekend that we are believing God for, for hundreds of people to get saved, if not thousands. Hundreds of people to get saved that weekend, hundreds of people to show up a service. We are believing for that. And so we want you to be a part of it. But that Saturday, we're having the prayer drive through. I'm asking every person of Liberty City to be out. We're going to have some things out on the parking lot for children as well. So we're getting ready to do something great for God. And then that Sunday, we're coming and we are, we're going to have something very great. Uh, maybe we're going to, I think we're planning on doing uh, um, um, a cookout after service. Yeah, we're going to do a lot of stuff. So we're working on it. We're going to give you more details very soon. But we want you to come to church. Liberty City, come to church. We need you this next two weeks. We need all of Liberty City. If you are a member, if you are a member, if you are, if you are a member of Liberty City, these two weeks, we need you. We need you in the building. We need your giving. We need your bringing. We need your talents. We need your smile. We need your hugs. We need your dancing. We need, we need you. We need you. So we'd love for you to come and be a part of what God is doing here for us. All right. So I love you guys. You all have a wonderful night. And uh, we're going to see you Sunday. Sunday morning. All right. Love y'all. Have a wonderful night.